Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me back for today's video. The style we're going to be working with today is a beautiful bob and you guys know springtime is the perfect time to pull out your wigs that are easy to maintain, easy to pop on, easy to just look flawless. And that's what I'm going to show you guys today. So we are going to jump right into this. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. My name is Marie. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and also be sure everyone to thumbs up the video. Leave me a comment and tell me will you be rocking your bob styles this spring i will be sure to put everything i use in today's video down below in the description box so make sure to check below this video all right let's jump right into this the wig I cut the lace and we are going to jump right into the install I'm going to take some of this powder and apply it all over my wig cap because I don't want the wig cap to show yellowish underneath I did not cut off this extra band right here because this is going to be a quick install so as you can see once you bleach the knots and I did add some of that foundation powder in the inside of this cap once you bleach the knots this looks so natural before I even apply it. It looks just like scalp and that's what you want your wig to look like. I didn't heat up my hot comb too long. So I'm putting this here. But yeah, this is what the hair looks like after being washed. It has a lot of texture to it. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the straps in the back so that we can get a nice fit. Now inside of your box, they did give the straps, but you also get the straps. You get two sets of straps, okay? So a lot of times I always lose these straps anyway, so to have an extra pair is perfect. So if you didn't want to wear your wig with glue or any hairsprays, you can just use these straps or the straps that's in the back of the wig and get it nice and tight. Right now, I may need to change my parting. Once I wash the wig, I kind of lost the parting. <laughs> Um, or I can just, let's see, let's just switch it. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, so to tame these flyaways that's happening at the top from me switching out that parting, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this wax stick all over the top part of the hair. And because this is a bob, I definitely want this style to be nice and sleek and flawless. So I'm going to take my hot comb and just press out that top part. And I have not glued down the wig at all. So if you wanted to wear this wig glueless, you can kind of get a feel of what it looks like without glue. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue down the wig. And I also want to show you all how to hide that line. Now, as you can see, this looks really good. However, you never want there to be a lace line around your head. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. Um, I'm going to use the got to be insta hold spray and we're just going to go ahead and glue this down. Okay, so I'm going to start to press and sometimes if you use hairsprays or glues, you will notice that the lace will disappear. It's only when your lace starts to lift that you really start to see that line. So you want to make sure that the spray is really to the edge of that lace. Yeah, and this is Swiss lace by the way on this wig, which is really good at looking very natural. You do still see that lace line. As you can see, I have places that still lifted. That's why you can still see it. I'm gonna go back with the Got To Be Spray and spray the edge of the lace. Try and make sure to keep the hairs out of the way. So where is mine? So you can get you like an edge brush that looks like this and just kind of push the hairs upward in an upward motion. It's okay to leave a little bit of strands, just like some straggly strands <laughs> um, there. That way you can, we'll work with that in a second, but just push the hair up into an upward position. And remember the hairspray is going to 
hold. So eventually it's going to freeze that hair in an upward motion. That's okay. If you are not using baby hairs and you want your lace to melt, you definitely want to make sure you're using enough spray to get that hair out of the way. Once you have that done, you want to take the dryer to it. Take the dryer to it on a cool setting. Use the edge of your finger and press, and don't pull, but just kind of rub until it's dry. That's how you do that. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Now you can see the difference with this side. I'm gonna take that spray, spray wherever the lace is lifted. You wanna make sure also that your lace is not folded. Sometimes the edge of the lace can fold. You definitely don't want that to happen. If it's bent, you might wanna go back with some scissors and cut it so that you won't keep having it roll. Um, so yeah, just make sure to pay attention to that. Take my brush and brush those hairs upward. Push that lace down, like so. Now I didn't show the customization of this wig. I have so many videos showing how to customize your wig. Um, so if you need help within that category, make sure to check out my videos. A whole playlist of helpful tutorials now the key is to take your finger like a roller like if you're rolling dough and just down 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 and when you do it that way it's going to melt that lace into the skin and you are using your finger so you can feel if you use a comb I mean I can't really say that the comb is gonna give it the same exact results because your fingers are warm you know it's going to kind of push and press and melt that lace and keep those hairs out of the way push them up with your brush all right looking a little crazy it's okay we're gonna fix it all up at the end you'll see the result the edges is where the most hair get caught in the glue or the hairspray with me so I just kind of break up that crunchiness and I'm going to brush it back so use your brush and just break it up and brush it back you can also take your hot comb if you're not scared to burn your ear here um, go ahead and heat it up because you can use that to assist with pushing that hair upward. Now a lot of times people have this area lift not realizing that the reason that it's lifting is because your glue and your hairspray is not touching the lace. You're, you actually have hair glue down there which is okay as long as you have the lace glue too because you want support at this area and if you only have the hair glued then it's going to lift. So I'm just doing the same thing, brushing the upward motion and just going like this. I'm gonna go ahead and spray right at that edge of that lace and do the same steps. But on this side, I'm, instead of rolling, I'm gonna brush the hair up like this, out the way. And then I'm just gonna press, press toward the eyeball, just in a roller, just rolling it like that. And then you want to go in with your hot comb, hold this area here, and then take it in an upward motion, like so. And it's okay to leave a little bit of sideburn there. It's perfectly normal to have edges. <laughs> a little bit I got to be spray at the top and then take my hot comb and lay everything down mm. 
All right. Who is this, honey? <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. But the next thing you want to do, you're not done yet. You want to further hide the edge of that lace. We have it pressed down, but the problem that you're seeing right now, if you are seeing anything, is the fact that the powder that I put for the scalp color, the powder that I put for the scalp color is definitely too light for my forehead color. So, of course, with that being said, you want to get you a bronzer. Um, it don't matter what type of bronzer. This is not even a bronzer. Oh, this is a bronzer. Hold on. Is this a bronzer? Yes. So I have the Fenty Beauty bronzer. Normally I would use my more affordable one. Don't matter which, which one you have, just as long as it matches your skin tone. Um, find me a brush. So get you a brush, not a densely packed brush, but you want a fluffy brush. Um, because if you use a densely packed brush, it's going to pack that color. It's going to clump up and look ugly. So you want to go into your makeup like so tap off and then you want to i'm gonna start with this side so you, you guys can see now watch how it melts brush it around the edge of that lace you see that you can see it when i turn toward the light here we go right around this area look at that all of it is disappearing. You want to make sure you get that edge of that lace very well. And the powder won't lift the hairspray or the gels because it's dry. If you use something that's wet, it might lift. This wig is everything. I absolutely am enjoying installing this wig. This is really pretty. Springtime is here. So styles like this is perfect. It's breathable. It's comfortable. You don't have to glue it down if you don't want to. And it's a quick style. It's a straight style that's short. So get up and go. Let me add some of this Argan Oil heat protectant. And I bought this a while ago. I haven't used it. So I was like, let me go ahead and just use it since I have not. Mm, smells amazing. And this is by Cream of Nature, by the way. Uh, so I'm going to add some of this all over the hair. It's a heat protectant. About that much. And oh yes, Ooh. <laughs> I like the way that feels. Feels really good. I'm gonna brush that through. Um, then I'm going to take my Kiposi. I think that's how you say it. Flat iron, and this is a really affordable flat iron if you want to quickly straighten your hair. This and the um, straightening brushes, two of my favorite affordable styling tools to use. So I'm gonna use this today, and as you can see, I can just, already brush through the hair, so I can just take it and just go straight through. I can take big chunks, you guys. I don't have to take small chunks, and I can get this done. Now, because I already kind of straighten it, I'm just touching it up, so you probably won't see a huge difference. <laughs> it's okay. But I love the texture of this wig so very much. Like, it's like when you get the wigs for the first time, they're very silky, but as soon as you let that water touch it and you wash it, it gets this beautiful texture. And if you don't know how to wash your wigs properly, definitely check out my tutorial on how to wash wigs. You'll see what my favorite products are. Well, 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 there we have it. As you guys can see, everything is melted. This is the way it's supposed to look. Look at that. Yes. Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this wig down below in the description box for you guys. Remember that this wig is from Pretty Lux Hair. All the discounts will be down there. My discounts stay the same, so you don't have to keep trying to remember. Just use the discount code Marie. That you can save some money when you are purchasing and you can look fire and slayed for spring, honey. All right, so drop me a comment below. Also be sure to thumbs up the video and I'll see you all back in my next video. Mwah.